Hi guys, so this is my December favorites video, and can you believe it's the end of the year, and tomorrow's New Year's Eve, and it's just like so, so crazy how the time just flew by this year. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites. Some of them I don't know if you can get anywhere. Some of them I know you can, I think, but um... Let's start out with beauty favorites. So this month I've used two different perfumes just to switch it up a little bit. So this is um, the Love's Fresh Lemon, and this is what it looks like. I got this, I think, a year or two, um, a year or two um, as a Christmas present, and it came with three other scents. It was like Jasmine, Baby Soft, and Fresh Lemon. And the fresh lemon smells the best. Like, it doesn't smell like a cleaner, like lemon, like that, um, that's what we're attracted to, like lemon cleaner or something. It smells like fresh lemon, like it really does. It looks like you just picked off, it smells like you just picked off the lemon and you just squeeze the juice like all over your skin and it, and it smells just like that. It's like the best ever thing. And it's this little, um, bottle. I don't know if you can get it anywhere because I know they don't have it at Walmart. Well, just that kind. I know you don't have it at Walmart because the Love's um, perfume scents always change every year. So this one I got at Bath & Body Works. It's a holiday tradition. I think I did this in a previous December Favorites video. December Favorites video. I got this a few days after Christmas. Me and my mom went to the mall. And this was like half off. It's Merry Marshmallow Kiss. And this is like the best scent ever. Like the other three or four they have... Don't compare. This one smells so sweet. It smells exactly like a sweet, tart, like, marshmallow sort of scent with, like, a hint of, like, sweetness, I guess you could say. But, um, this is what it looks like. I only use it, like, for, ge for just December, so that's why there's not a lot of it's missing. But it smells so good. Like, it just smells so good. And the bottle is so, like, sparkly and glittery, and it's blue. Blue's like one of my, like, favorite colors, so I really love this scent. It's, like, the best scent ever. I don't know how much it costs. I think it might have cost, like, ten dollars, because it was, like, the half-off sale or something, but it smells amazing. It is, like, the best scent they ever had for, like, Christmas or for, like, any scent in general so far, and it is, like, the best scent, I think, that they made since, like, they first came out. Like, the rest of these, um, the rest of these, um, Christmas scents I really don't think smell good. And this scent you could wear maybe, like, any time in the winter. Because those other scents don't even smell that great for, like, this Christmas and winter time. So this other, these, um, next two products are lip products that I've used for the month of December. And this is the Shine Lip Gloss. I got this at Five Below. It was, I think, like, two or five dollars. And this is the one I've been using. It's called Girly Girl. And this is, it's this cute pink pink color and it's a gloss and this is what it looks like it's not that shiny but the camera on this phone sucks and um this is what it looks like and it has like a nice like shimmer to it like when you put it on it just makes your lips even pinker like I don't have it on my lips right now I have something else on my lips but um it makes your lips really like plumper sort of and it doesn't have any like sort of like stuff that makes them plump or anything but it is, like, the best ever one. Like, it doesn't, like, stick on stuff at all. Like, you can wear this all day, and it just, you can just reapply it, like, once or twice a day. And it keeps your lips moisturized, and it doesn't, like, come off of your lips at all. Like, when you, like, drink something or eat something. It stays on your lips for a really long time, even though when you put it on, it makes your lips feel like they're glued together. And I did a review on this product, so if you scroll down, it's like, I think it's like Chapstick versus Lip Gloss or something. And you can see my reviews on it based on Chapsticks and different stuff in that video. Another lip product I use is, is the EOS, um, I think this is like, um, Fruit Punch, I don't really know, I don't remember what it was, but I got this at Walmart. And I like this better than using Chapstick, like I never used EOS's, um, products before. But I think I like this better than Chapstick, because Chapstick, when you put it on, it doesn't go on smooth. It goes on rough to the point where you can, like, it, like, doesn't go on. It, like, dries out your lips faster, I think. 
But um, EOS is like, it's sort of like a chapstick, but it's like an enhanced chapstick. It comes in this little like egg shape and all you do is you twist it off. It's really easy. You just twist it off and then it comes out and it looks like this. It looks like, like a blush or something you would put like on your cheeks or something. And this is what it looks like. It's just like a white sort of um, egg. I'm almost like out of it because I've been using it so much. And it smells, I think it smells to smell like either cherries or great, um, cherries or fruit punch. I'm not really sure, I don't remember what it was called, but I like this product because it's so cute. Like, the, the packaging is cute. It comes in, like, a little egg shape, um, thing. And you don't lose it. Like, with a chapstick, you lose it all the time. And with this, like, it's portable and, like, you always know what it looks like because it's an egg shape. And I really like this product better because, you know, when you put it on, it goes on smooth on your lips. Like, that's what I have on my lips right now. And it goes on smooth on your lips. And it's just, like, it's so much better because it doesn't dry out your lips fast like um, ChapStick does. Like, with ChapStick, I notice that um, if you talk a lot during the day you're because you're breathing in air and exhaling it out, it makes your lips drier from that and then the chapstick just really doesn't work at all like it really doesn't I don't really like chapstick at all I really like this better I'm going to use this more than probably the regular chapstick brand and it's just like so cute like I really love the packaging of it I got that at Walmart I don't know how much it was it was like on when you go into like to check out it was like one of those aisles so the next favorite I have is is the Invisible Solid Secret Paris Destination Romantic Rose. And this is what it looks like. It's supposed to give you 48-hour odor protection. And let me tell you, it really does. It gives you the best ever, like, one. Like, I think in my previous one, a previous review on a deodorant, I used a suave deodorant. And it does not hold up. Like, this holds up a lot more. And it doesn't really have, like, a really smelly smell to it. Like, where, like, if you have a really bad, like, sorry, this is my, like, sweat problem and it sinks through your um shirts and everything where you can see pit stains it doesn't make your pit stains on your shirt smell like that and it goes on good like you don't get these little like chalky little balls that you might do if you use a deodorant like that but um it doesn't get any like chalky little balls it goes on really smooth it is like the best product ever like secret i think is the best deodorant to use if you have like a sweating problem or whatever, and this is really good, because, like, I am obsessed with Paris, and I was like, oh, I have to get this, so it's the romantic rose kind, and it smells exactly like roses, like, it smells like roses, and there's some other sort of scent to it that I'm not really sure what it is, but it smells like roses, like, it, it like, all their products always smell the best, and this one is just, like, another indication that it is, like, the best thing ever. So now I have my book favorites for the month of December, and I've read um, uh, I read a series, and if you haven't seen that video, I think I did a book review on two of the books already. It's in two of my previous book reviews that I've done on this channel. So, I this month I've been reading, um, the V.C. Andrews series, um, books called the De Beers series. And it's about this, um, girl who goes to find her real mom, and it's a long story, and then she gets caught up into all this drama and everything, but, um, I don't want to spoil anything for you. So, these are the three books I have in this series. Um, these are the last three. These are the two I did a previous video on to go with that. But, um, this is what I've been reading. And this is the V.C. Andrews Tr Twisted Roots. This is the third book in the De Beers series. And I'm going to do a review on the last two books. And I think this book. So, stay tuned for that. I'll get into it more. But, um, they, these were made in the early 2000s, like, 2002, 2003, and this is what it looks like. Each of these books, um, except for the one, usually have, like, 400-plus pages in it, and they have a prologue and an epilogue, and they're usually, like, 19 or 20 chapters, usually, like, around, like, 20, usually. And this series really didn't, like, I really didn't like a lot, like, I really just didn't get into it, but, um... It's just, I think it's sort of, it's sort of like, the last two books I really didn't like, but the first three are really, really good. And I'll explain it more in a book review. This is the fourth book in the beer series. This is Into the Woods, and this is what it looks like. This one actually had, um, fifth, which one was it that only had 15 in it? I don't remember. One of them only had 15 in it. I think it was the second book, I'm not really sure, but, um... 
This one has 19 chapters in it. It's like... hundred pages usually, but not all the time. And this is the last book in the De Beers series. It's Hidden Leaves, and this one is the smallest book because it comes in two parts. The one part is only like 12 chapters long, and the chapters are really short. And the last one, I think, the last part in the book only has um, five chapters in it because it's an ebook. But, um, it's called Hidden Leaves, and this is a, this one wasn't really that interesting to me at all, because it was sort of, like, predictable on what was going on. And this is what it looks like. Even the, um, even if you see, like, the first two books, like, I think I showed you guys, like, these have more interesting covers on the books than this book does. Like, the back actually has a more interesting picture than the front does. So that's been book, book, um, the book favorites for the month of December. I only have one, um... One food favorite, and that's the Sour Patch Kids. I just bought one up. It's just from a little place I get these from. And I really like them. I got these in my, like, basket, my Christmas basket for Christmas. And I really, like, go on and off. Like, like, sometimes I don't like sour things. Sometimes I do. And this time I really do. They're just Sour Patch Kids. They, ha they have the blue um, ones in it. And I think the blue ones taste really, taste better than, like, the red or orange ones. Like, that's just how good they are. So, my last two favorites I have are random favorites. And they're both One Direction, um, favorites. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, I saw, say before that I really like their last album. The last album was really, really good. And I just really just gone into them, just, like, from that album till now and everything. So, this is their concert, um, DVD. Um, this is what it looks like, um... I don't know how much it was. I got this as a Christmas present, and I, j I swatched it yesterday, and I'm not done finishing it. I'm not done with it yet, so I'm going to finish it today. So this is what it looks like again, and it is, like, so good. Like, the camera angles and how clear it is. Like, sometimes it could be, like, fuzzy in different videos you might watch, but this one is really good because it's clear, and it's, like, so much in high definition or whatever they use. It is, like, so good. Like, it is, like, the best concert-ish sort of movie ever. Yeah. And this is our CD. I got this for Christmas, too. I wa I listened to most of these songs, and most of them are good. I haven't listened to the last three yet, so I'm going to do that tonight. But this album is so good. Like, the only ones I didn't like were 18 and Fool's Gold, because I don't really like, like, slow songs at all. But the rest of the album was really, really good. And this is what it looks like, if you haven't noticed already. But, um, yeah. So that is my December favorites. Comment below and tell me your, um, favorites video, your favorites for the month of December. Um, look at my other videos on my channel, um, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another awesome video.